team. So, you know, it's just everybody looking at what they did, you know, that hurt the team. So, you know, it's not, it's not really finger pointing this is that or the other because, you know, everybody made mistakes, you know. Just looking at yourself, you know, saying, what did, what did I do that I could have done better to help the team? You guys are obviously pretty salty up front most of the first half, but overall as a team, do you feel like you guys are having fun each weekend? Yeah, you know, uh, of course you have more fun when you win. But, uh, you know, it's it's going out there, you know, you get a chance to play football, you know, you get a chance to be out here every day with, uh, you know, guys that, you know, that are your brothers, you know, you spend all your time with these guys, you know. Uh, you know, you always have fun, you know, you're always loving the time you get to be out here, but, you know, it's always more fun when you win. How do you deal with the, the talk and everything that's going on, social media and all that stuff at uh, the point that Tennessee's at right now? How does the team deal with that? Uh, you know, we don't we don't focus on that stuff. We just focus on you know, this complex, you know, this grass right here and that stadium over there. You know, we don't worry about you know, what's going on outside and that outside noise. We just focus on, you know, what we have to do to get better. Well, you, you guys kind of grew up around the game, so this is this kind of stuff you've been around and you've seen it. You know, for, do you worry about other guys then and do, who are going to do this kind of thing for the first time? It, you know, it's easy for you maybe to sit here and say that you don't really see them, but I'm sure you know, other guys. Yeah, you know, that's that's why I think uh, it's important to kind of, you know, embrace, you know, the roles that Coach Jones kind of tells us. You know, we need leaders, we need guys to step up, you know. That's something where I can I can step up and lead and I can step up and be a guy that tell guys, you know, we're, we're fine, we're good, don't worry about this, don't worry about that. You know, use my background in football, you know, to help the team out. How do you feel like you're holding up physically? You shed a lot of weight, you, know, you seem to be playing a lot more reps. Just how do you feel about that now? Oh, uh, good. You know, <laughs> extra weight being off helps. Uh, you know, you get to be able to move around a whole lot better, get off way faster and things like that. So uh, just keeping that off and, you know, just making sure I'm staying in the training room, you know, making sure the body's good, make sure, you know, keep up the maintenance, you know, everything. You know, don't get re-injured or anything like that. It was good. Yeah, yeah. Good to see old Boogie get back out there, you know. Always good to see Sean and Bill with us. Uh, all the time and things like that. So, you know, it's, it's always good to see them back on the field. It's tough to actually count, I guess, right? I mean, you know, yeah. everything he's been through, it's like he's bouncing back every yep, time. Yep, bouncing back there. What looks like the division is not tough for me. What do you do takes you motivation? Just winning every day. You know, being 1-0 each week, you know, that's our only option right now, you know. Just going out winning every single game that uh, we have left. You know, being 1-0 every single day, winning that day, and then winning on that Saturday. Do you feel like there's some payback owed to South Carolina after last year? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's it's uh, you know, they got one on us last year. You know, I didn't get to make the trip. You know, uh, watching at home with the swing on, but you know, that was that was one that you know we all want back. So you know, it's we get our chance now. Obviously, the fans guys went in a lot of heat as well as the team the last few days. Do you notice any difference from the coaches this week in the way they're responding and kind of like that? No, just I mean, the only response, the only. Uh, response that we have is, you know, just get out here and work after Saturday. You know, that, that was everybody's, that was on everybody's mind from the end of the game until now. You know, as long as we get back out here and work with the crowd. Do you like that? Did you like having an off week at this point in the season? Would you rather just gone back on the field and try to erase that memory as soon as possible? Or do you think you benefit from having two weeks? I mean, I'm, I think I speak for everybody on the team when I say you wish we could have, you know, just hit the restart button and started the whole game back up just now. Can't do that, but you know you can get ready for the next week. You know that's that's all it is. You know, just getting ready for the next week and all that. The bye week coming when it comes is, you know, it's just whatever it is. You know, you got to play football games regardless. So uh, I think it came out a good time. You know, just help our team get some reps in this week. You know, some guys get healthy. You know, just uh, get ready for South Carolina. Who's leading this team right now? You know, we have. You know, we always have different leaders. You know, we don't really just try and have. Just one leader, this guy, oh, he's the leader, oh, he's this, he's that. Because then you're just looking at one guy to make all these different decisions. So Coach Jones really talks about, you know, power of the position, you know, power of the position. You guys policing your own position group, making sure your position group is, you know, doing you know, the best it can do. And, you know, that, that responsibility falls on the other guys. You know, as juniors and seniors, we're the ones who set the example all day in practice, set the example in meeting, set the example in lifting. All that type of stuff. Set the example in the classroom. Take two more. Y'all shouldn't slow down with a run at times. Like they had seven yards, seven carries, seven yards the first quarter. Saturday, Georgia did. But you've struggled at other times. What's caused the issues that run defense? Um, like I said, it's just execution. You know, it's uh, nine guys in the right thing, ten guys in the right thing. 
one guy messing up, two guys messing up, you know, that's, that's in football, you know. You just got to execute more than the other team. You know, if the other team's going to execute uh, better than you and harder and longer than you, then, you know, the other ones are going to come out with Clear, how are you guys balancing just getting some fundamental work in versus maybe doing a little bit of extra work on South Carolina with the open week? Uh, you know, that's you know, that's that's really coach. You know, that's that's all in their game plan. You know, just uh, making sure you know we're getting the right amount of reps this week and right amount of rest for guys who need it, uh, guys who need to get healthy, uh, them getting their reps too. But at the same time, you know, looking forward and you know getting ready for you know the opponent we have next weekend. But you haven't started on South Carolina yet, though, have you? No, we're just, you know, we're just out here practicing. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank All right, you. thanks, Cliff.